Hey guys, on today's video, we are gonna do a holiday gift guide for the coffee loving friend or family member, whatever it may be, as long as they like coffee, you're gonna wanna watch this video. So the first item that I wanna talk about that would be an awesome gift are these. These are very popular on my channel and on my Instagram uh, page. A lot of you guys are always asking about these and I get it, I get why, because they are just so pretty and I feel like the fact that they're all different makes them even more special. I wanna show you guys up close what they look like. I know you guys have seen me use these throughout many videos. So usually I keep my top three syrups in these. This is salted caramel, French vanilla, and right now I've been loving creme caramel from Monin. These are bitter bottles, so the topper that they come with, just keep in mind, lets out drops at a time. And so that's why I have these little spouts. So these are different spouts. I also have these linked on my Amazon. I'll have them linked down in the description below. But these just let out a faster pour because the other ones, trust me, you'll be sitting there forever to get a tablespoon out. So keep that in mind. You need these pour spouts. I will put these covers on them. These are from Monin, but I also have a few linked in my Amazon page. They're a lot larger, so I end up cutting them just to make them look a little more tinier. But either way, I think this is a really nice gift. They're glass bottles. They look vintage straight out the box. They're beautiful. Who doesn't need coasters when you're drinking coffee? I love to change my coasters depending on the season. So these are the ones that I currently have, but I also will link the other ones that I used before Christmas. I think they will love it the same. And these are cute. These are just the, the felt wool. I don't know what you would call them. They're little pom-pom balls sewn together. They're not glued. They're actually sewn together. And if you don't like these like multicolored ones, they also have different colors. They have like pink, they have black, they have white, they have yellow, they have a ton of colors. Whatever color you see here, the seller has them in just solid colors. It's a pack of four. I'm actually using the other one uh, underneath my candle. So, but yeah, it's a pack of four and I think this would be nice. You can even build a little coffee loving basket for your friend. Maybe put the bitter bottles, a little bit of coasters. You can keep two, they can have two. You know, just give me some ideas, but these are nice to have. I'm gonna get the next ones out of the way because if your friend loves coffee and they wanna venture into a, like espresso kind of machine, but don't wanna really finagle too much with it, I would definitely recommend gifting them something like the Virtual Plus from the Nespresso brand. Um, you can even give them the mini essenza which i highly highly recommend as far as original line you don't need anything fancy like the cortista but i do love the cortista all three machines i'm going to link in the description box but i feel like the virtual plus would be like the number one gift to give for the coffee lover they can still do a nice cup of coffee like american style cup of coffee with uh, the virtual plus and then they can do lattes they can do macchiatos cappuccinos you know stuff like that a very nice gift to give the coffee loving friends so just thought i'd mention it i'll put a few options down below the number one question that i get when i say virtual plus then i get people coming back to me and saying what's the difference with the body of the virtual plus there's really not much of a difference unless you see it say deluxe the deluxe usually come in like special colors or um, the water tank is supposed to be slightly bigger than the, the regular ones. But regardless of the body style, body size, shape, it doesn't matter. They all work the same. So yeah, just don't get the Virtuo next. I can't say that enough. That machine sucks. And I'm not bad mouthing your Virtuo next. If your Virtuo next works and it hasn't given you any issues, then by all means, that is awesome. It is a very pretty machine, which is why I first got it, but it is very faulty and it ended up breaking within two, three months. And a lot of you guys have told me that too. So stay away from that model. Just, I don't want you guys to risk that happening. Virtual Plus is the way to go. I think these would be a really nice gift to include if you guys are doing a basket. These are espresso pourers. So like I said, if they like espresso based drinks, these, these are nice to have. It's something that most likely they probably wouldn't think of buying. But once you have it, it's nice to have. Because 
usually like with me i like to pour the milk first if i'm doing a latte and then i'll pour in my espresso at the end and it's just nice to brew it here versus having to brew it in the cup already or a separate cup this is just it's meant for the espresso so you could also use it for milk i've never used it for milk but i have a few options this is my newest one that i've purchased it's it has a heavier bottom and you could tell it's a lot heavier compared to the other ones you have your measuring in milliliters and then on the other side it has the measurements in ounces nice wooden handle i don't like to put these in the dishwasher because i feel like the handle for some reason will come off <laughs> i've never done it i just don't want to risk it i hand wash them and they've always lasted a really nice time this is my newest one that i've purchased it's it has a heavier bottom and you could tell it's a lot heavier compared to the other ones you have your measuring in milliliters and then on the other side it has the measurements in ounces nice wooden handle i don't like to put these in the dishwasher because i feel like the handle for some reason will come off <laughs> i've never done it i just don't want to risk it i hand wash them and they've always lasted oh and i forgot to mention this one fits up to two and a half ounces so i'll brew like a bianco leggero uh double espresso chiaro those fit perfectly in this one i'm sure you guys have seen these in my reels and my videos this one also fits two and a half ounces but this one doesn't have a heavy bottom you don't really need it it just feels nicer and more like luxurious um but i like this one it has two spouts so you don't really have to finagle too much with it i think the other one has two spouts as well yeah they both have two spouts this is the very first one i ever purchased this one only has one little spout and it's nice as long as you're only doing a single shot espresso it, it fits up to two but by the time you get two in here it's like to the rim like it's you run the risk of like spilling and then when you're actually pouring out the espresso this one for some reason just drips all over if you have the two if you have one espresso it's good but just thought i'd mention it it's another option i think they're almost all similar in price so if I had to choose, the first two would be definitely my my pick. If you have a friend that loves coffee, especially iced coffee, I think they would really appreciate these kind of straws. It took me forever to try a glass straw. And when I finally did, I don't understand why I didn't do it any sooner. Because when you drink out of a glass straw, it just feels luxurious. It's different. It's different. So I think these are a nice gift to give someone i bought these separately like i have the orange one for the fall time and then the pink ones were some of the first ones that i purchased and then for christmas i bought like a multicolored one and these are some of the and these are some of the colors that it came with i think they also have a green one here's a green one so just a few options i'll link them down below like i said and i think that'll be a really nice gift when i'm making um like recipes coffee recipes milk recipes i tend to use this one it's clear i like to see the milk right through it when i'm mixing all the ingredients um, but i find myself using that one this one for that purpose and i think your coffee loving friends would actually use it you can pour your milk pour your syrup and then use your handheld frother to mix everything in and then this glass has a really nice spout that allows you to pour your milk out very very nicely and it has like a hammered glass look to it super super cute but it's something that they can use daily especially if they do milk recipes for their coffee and then speaking of a handheld frother this is mine it's nothing special honestly i think that a milk a handheld frother is going to do whatever it's supposed to do as long as it's um as long as there's a battery in there it works you know um, but this one is by the brand Zule Kitchen, and they have tons of colors. I, of course, have the white one, but they have other colors depending on what your friend likes. And it comes with a little stand, so after I use it, I give it a good rinse, and then just pop it back on the stand, and you're good to go. Another cute gift. Another gift idea basket, something like this, a little glass pitcher, and then I'm thinking maybe even the Monin sampler syrups that they have on their website together a really nice coffee loving basket super cute i wanted to talk to you guys about cups which is i think gifting a mug 
of any sort is really nice especially when the cup is really really cute it's hard for me to give holiday themed stuff because i almost want to give it to them way before so that they can use it for the holiday season so i was going to talk about my holiday cups but i'm not because like i said it's something that you're not going to give it to them until christmas and by then christmas will be over <laughs> you know what i mean but I did want to share some other cups. So this one is from Target. And I feel like this one is very wintry, very like cozy. The colors are just very muted. And I feel like anybody can appreciate a little cup like this. I think this one fits about 11 ounces, which is really nice if they use a Grand Lungo with a half a cup of milk. Even the big coffee pots with a little bit of creamer. I think this is like the perfect size. Not too big, not too small. It comes in a pack of two. If you see them in store, they'll sell them like separately, which is nice also. But I love this cup. I just recently got it, but I've been using it a ton. And it's super cute. It's by the brand Hearth and Hand with Magnolia at Target, but super cute. These are little latte cups from World Market. They're, I think, $7.99 for a pack of four. And it's nice that they stack. Makes it easier to like store away, but they're nice. Right now that I've been really practicing my latte art, I feel like these are the ones that I use. And then also these. I don't know why. It's just the perfect size um, for like a single shot latte or a double shot latte with a little bit less milk. It's perfect. I love these cups. And so yeah, a nice option to have if they love coffee, they will for sure appreciate it. These are the bottles that I'm talking about. They always sell them in little packages, like a sampler pack. Perfect for gifts. Again, I'm going to put them in the description box below. If you do end up using them, you can use my Monin code. I believe it's Alex Coffee. It saves you 15%. And take advantage because that code actually ends this year. I don't know if I'll be able to talk to them and see if we can renew that code. But... It, these are really nice whatever you guys decide to combine these items with i think adding these syrups for their coffee would be such a nice treat these cups are very popular and which is why i wanted to share them with you guys they're from crate and barrel they're very inexpensive you could buy them individually so as money as you think your friend would appreciate you can use them i use this one for like a short like a tall latte recipe and then this one will fit like a nice like, double espresso latte very very pretty very aesthetic so if you have a friend that loves neutrals and kind of like clean minimalist look i think they would really appreciate these cups another cup and then this one is very very special because it you know you know their birthday so you just kind of choose whatever like astrology sign they are i'm a pisces i was born march 20th which is the very very last day of my astrology sign i think they call it a pisces aries cusp that's what I am. So anyways, <clears throat> they have a few of these left. I'm going to share it. They're from Anthropology, And then that way you guys can check them out. Hopefully they have whatever sign you need. They are so cute. And it's a very nice, sizable, big cup of coffee kind of mug. So just thought I'd share it. Another cup I wanted to share with you guys is this one. This is a mason jar. It's really nice and etched. It's perfect for ice drinks. The lid is hit or miss. I'm not going to lie. Sometimes it stays on. Sometimes it doesn't. Lately, I've been finding myself just drinking, drinking like this without the lid. Um, but yeah, like, I don't know. It depends on whatever foam I have up top. It'll stay better. But either way, drinking it out of this cup is really, really nice. And it's they're very inexpensive. I think they sell the lid separately if you guys want to try different vendors. But the cup itself is nice. This is another cup that I think would be a nice gift to give. Nespresso accessories are always top notch. They're they're kind of pricey, but I feel like for you know the holidays, it's a nice excuse to splurge. Look at the inside; it's really nice. And then it has like this little cute like lip indentation here, peachy on the inside. This one is their biggest one that they have. I recently ordered their smaller one and i can't wait to use it it's going to be really really nice and cute the color again very aesthetically pleasing a very nice gift if somebody would have given me these as a gift i would have really been a happy girl they're super nice last but not least is this cute little teddy bear tumbler kind of thing it's like a to go i wouldn't take it on the go though because i'd be afraid to break it but it's double walled i don't know if you guys can see it through the camera but 
super cute i love using him at night he's so cozy just you know sitting down getting your favorite blanket using him it's just so cozy so thought i'd share him i hope they still have these available i don't see why not but comes with a little lid one of my friends actually ordered this one and she actually likes it the first one she ordered though the lid wouldn't close so just keep that in mind if you have like a faulty one you might have to return it that's what she did but when she got a new one it worked and she loves it super super cute now let's talk about what's on my christmas wish list as somebody that loves coffee if you watch my latest video then you know that i want to kind of venture out away from nespresso i'll still keep my machines obviously but i want something different i just want to see what else is out there as far as coffee i do have a french press and somebody mentioned to me that you know i can use a french press for larger amounts i know that but i really want to venture into pour over and so that's on my christmas wish list i want a chemex to be exact i've been watching videos reading articles and you know stuff like that so it seems complicated like i feel like some people just complicate coffee when it's unnecessary i did um order a scale for it but after watching one specific video i don't think i'm gonna need it um so we'll see i i i'm still waiting for it in the mail but yeah i asked for a chemex i asked for a coffee grinder because i want to you know grind my own coffee and the nice thing about having a separate coffee grinder is that it grinds larger amounts of coffee versus just having a coffee grinding machine this would allow me to grind as many beans as i want for my pour over or even for my french press whatever it may be i could even grind beans for my family so that they can take it home and use it for their coffee maker it's just i've heard grinding your own beans is a lot nicer so that's on my christmas wish list specifically the breville one and then what else did i oh i i asked for a fellow i think there's a brand gooseneck kettle not the electrical one but just the one that you would put over the stove that's the one that i asked for again if you guys watched my last video i talked about keeping things cozy and i feel like having the kettle over the stove and turning on the fire is just a lot more cozier than just having an electric kettle on my coffee station <laughs> the same thing goes as far as pour over i think that's a very relaxing thing to to learn i just wanted to share with you guys also what's on my christmas wish list so that you guys maybe get even more ideas these are more expensive items but i i just i hope i get them <laughs> but nonetheless that is something that i want to buy myself either way before you guys go share with me if you guys have other like gift ideas um within the coffee space put them in the comment section because i would love to know and i'm sure a lot of you guys would appreciate kind of like seeing what other people um have gifted in the past or will gift to their friends that completes today's video thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video bye